everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another Korean haul video, but this time it's not from Rosara Shop, it's actually from Sweet Korea, and I've talked about them quite a bit before. I've actually only ordered from them one other time, and it was over a year ago, but I ended up placing another order of a lot of really cute, fun things that I wanted to try and make review videos on, so I will get started and share with you guys all the things I got from Sweet Korea, and that's Korea with a C. So the first few things I got, I actually had no intention of buying, and I was going to resist. It was something I really thought was really cute when I first saw it and I wanted it immediately but I was like no you don't need it don't buy it and I bought it anyway so this is actually so cute and so different it's actually a collaboration with Samyang and Tony Molly and they are the fire noodle makeup products so these actually came out I think around like mid-September or so but I just now got my hands on it and it's so cute. It looks like the actual Samyang fire noodles. It's so adorable. Like even the little lid, like it looks like the actual fire noodles, but it's so cool. It says Bul Tanen Edition Hot Kobo Tak Cushion. So it's actually like the chicken flavor cushion or whatever. So it looks like the fire noodles. So adorable. It's actually like shrink wrapped. This was $11.43 and they actually have a couple more products that I got as well. They actually had two different lip tints. I ordered both of them, but unfortunately one of them sold out. So they had to end up refunding me. Um, but I did get one of them. These are the lip sauce tint. So the lip sauce lip tints. And I have the one in number one. This one is the um, red hot lip tint. And the other one was like a cheese lip tint and stuff kind of funny but really really cute so I love how it actually looks like the little sauce packets and that was $7.62 and the next two that I got are the like face products so they're both called blushers I think one's more of like a highlighter and one's a blush so obviously this one is the blush this one is number one this one is Bulma Ledu so that's the um, hot red one and then the other one this one is Carabora Light so I think it's like the Carbonara um, one that they have but it's so cute like even the packaging of this is so adorable I don't want to like ruin it but yeah I'm gonna do a whole video trying out these products and like I said it's kind of been out for a little bit so you've probably already seen a whole bunch of videos on them but I'm gonna do one as well and the blushes were $6.67 a piece and I love ramen so much I miss it because it's like not part of my diet anymore but uh, I really really miss some spicy noodles so unfortunately I don't have the last lip tint that goes with it but they also ended up I think they had like the little hair um, tints kind of like the red hair tint that I did a few months ago they have like their own little version of that and it comes with like a little comb but it looks Looks like it's in like a little um, chopstick sleeve. It's so adorable. I would have probably ordered some of those even though I probably wasn't going to dye my hair red again um, but I had already placed my order and then they had those on their website which is so frustrating after like the add new things right after you place an order. Um, so yeah unfortunately I didn't get those but they looked so cute. I think they actually give those out for free like in the actual Tony Moly stores in Korea. So next I got 10 of the same item because I really really love this product and these are the Misha 7 days coloring hair treatments in the color ash gray. I tried this about a year ago. I think I got these from Sweet Korea as well when I first tried them. And obviously I just did the Misha 7 Days Coloring for the color pink brown that lasted forever and that was not pink brown, but these are the ash gray ones and for some reason these are so hard to find. Like they're always sold out on Rosewood Shop and like every time I try to buy more of these they're sold out. Um, but they had them this time on Sweet Korea so I stocked up and I got 10 of these. Got so many of them because I I really love this color. I love how it looked on my hair. Um, I will probably try to do, you know, this sometime soon, but now that I have like another job and stuff, I just feel like, I feel weird. Like I could dye my hair if I wanted to, like no one can stop me. I'm an adult and stuff, but it's just kind of like, I don't know. I feel weird about trying to be a normal person with like crazy colored hair and stuff, but I'm sure I will try these sometime soon. Those were $1.43 a piece, so I ended up paying about, you know, $14.29 for all of these, but I really love this hair dye, so it's one of my favorites. And that one faded so nicely from my hair from what I remember. It didn't leave my hair like stained kind of like the pink brown color one did so maybe I'll do a whole nother video dedicated to this one as well when I eventually color my hair gray. So next I actually bought another repeat product. This I actually didn't realize I bought so many of these and I thought wow did they make a mistake? But then I went and double checked I'm like oh no that was my fault I totally ordered all these. These are the Etude House Mascara uh, One Shot Clean Removers. Some of my favorite ones I always get the little sample ones just because I my conspiracy theory is that they work better. They came in sets of two and I didn't realize I ordered four of them. I thought I only ordered 
two sets of two um, but yeah so I got all of those and it was 80 cents for the two so that came out to being three dollars and twenty cents for all of this and then for some reason I think I accidentally left this in my cart um, and I accidentally forgot to take it out this is the Etude House lip and eye remover so it's basically the same thing but it's blue um, but yeah so I have this eye makeup remover as well I'll see if it's you know any better than the other one um, this one was 267 so I've got tons of eye makeup remover for a while now the next thing I got this was kind of like a little impulse purchase and to be honest I did not look at the size of it because it is tiny and I would have not bought this if I had realized how small this was versus how much I paid for it so this is from the brand Espoir I think that's how you say it Espoir um, it's called the skin smoothing a glow riser so this is how big it is now this is a sample of it so of course it's very small but I didn't realize it was this small because I paid three dollars and 71 cents for this that's a little bit more than I would have actually paid if I had realized it was this small so um, but it's just kind of one of those like um, serum -y kind of color correctors I guess has these like little dip and dot look-alike kind of things in here so I'll see if it's any good or not but if I had realized it was this small I would have skipped on this and not paid almost four bucks for it and I got a ton of sheet masks and to be honest I still have tons of sheet masks in my collection, but I just love sheet masks and stuff. So this was really cool because it kind of reminds me of Baskin Robbins, which I think is obviously what it's supposed to look like. So it's ice cream sheet masks. The Ferrafe ice cream mask. I don't know what that means, but I think there are 10 sheet masks in here. I think they're all the same, but I paid $7.24 for this. So since I get like 10 masks and stuff, that makes it way less than a dollar a piece, which totally fits my standard of sheet masks. So I can't wait to try these out. I just thought they were so cute. And these are probably the reason why I placed this order and I have no regrets, but I have a ton of sheet masks now and it's the BT21 sheet masks. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of BTS and so I ended up getting one of each of the um, sheet masks. I'm gonna do a whole video opening these up and showing you what you get but these were like 503 a piece. So I spent some money on these but I don't care. I love BTS so much and they're all so cute. So I think I'm set for sheet masks for life but I couldn't resist those. I love them so much. I love BTS. I went to their concert and I had such amazing times and I just can't get over how cute all the little characters are so I definitely had to get all those. So the next thing I got are these actual like little hair clips they're actually like little velcro kind of things um, to kind of like keep your hair out of your face and stuff so these are from skin food they're called the hair magic pad I got three sets of two and I think they were like super inexpensive they were 57 cents a piece so basically what they look like is you get two little ones per pack and it's just like a little velcro y kind of thing so one's like a little lip shape and one's like a heart shape to be honest I don't really think these work as great as I thought they would but I mean they kind of work you like just kind of velcro it to your hair to kind of pull your bangs out of the way and stuff I've seen these before a lot and I thought they were super cute but I don't know I mean I guess they kind of work I remember seeing a video like years and years ago of someone and they talked about like little kind of hair things like this that they really loved and they were so inexpensive I ended up getting just a couple packs of them so these are actually some cleansing balms now I just recently got a cleansing balm from my um, boxy charm box that I really really like but I had ordered these before that and so now I mean it'll probably be a little bit before I get to these these are from the brand vanilla and it's called the clean it zero special kit now this was like always sold out every time I tried to um, place orders from sweet Korea but it comes in three little sample or actually four little sample um, ones of their different versions so they have the original the purity the reservatrol and the radiance version um, and they're just like little cleansing balms and stuff which are some of my favorite ways to remove my makeup so you can like try all of these before buying the large ones so I thought that was a really good deal and these were for 16 so it's kind of like you know a dollar per her, um, actual cleanser and for some reason I don't know why I ordered this but it's the same as the original version so I have two of those but this one was a dollar 26 so um, yeah now I've got tons of cleansing balms so it'll probably be a bit before I get to these and that was everything that I bought now the rest of these are all kind of like sample-y things so really quickly I'll go through my actual little sample set this is all samples that they gave me so the first two samples I got these are the Etude House double lasting foundation I just did a review on this these two are in the color sand which is is probably gonna be way too dark for me but maybe I can like mix it in with mine to kind of darken it a little bit and get used out of these so I got two samples of that this is from Laneige I love their lip sleeping mask this is the all-day anti-pollution defenser 
defensor. Is that a word? Defensor? I feel like defender would be the word. I don't know, but so I'm not quite sure what this is, but it seems like a pretty decent size sample, so definitely appreciate that. Next, I got, I've gotten some of these before from Rosar Shop. This is the Stelby Calamine Tone Up Sun. I think it's like a pink tinted sunscreen, maybe. Um, so I have some of those. This one I've had before too. This is the Stelby um, Miracle Honey Ampule. It's kind of like this pretty gold color. Still haven't used these yet though. So I got those two. These are from Coriana Orthea. These are called the Perfect Collagen 28 Days Intensive Ampule. So I got two of those. Then I also got two of these. These are also from Coriana Orthea. This is the Perfect Collagen 28 Days Intensive Ampule Eye Cream. Then next I got the Nature Republic Whitening and Wrinkle Improvement Ginseng Royal Silk Water Cream. So I got one of those. And then this last thing, this is different. This is Misha for Men. So I really like Misha products. And let me see what this is and why is it for men. So it's two little bottles. This one is the Misha for Men Extreme Renew Skin and the Misha for Men Extreme Renew Lotion. I'm not sure why it's for men, but I'm probably going to use it anyway. So yeah, I got all those samples and then I also got this as well. I believe they always kind of throw in like a little face mask like this. This one is the Jion Mapping Essence Mask 2 Cucumber. So it feels like it's one of those like gel like jelly face masks, like a full over face mask. So I'm kind of interested to try this one. Looks like it's cucumber. And this one actually looks like it might be um, either Japanese or Chinese. I think Japanese though. And the last two things I got, I actually didn't order. And I don't think they're sample like products that they just give out. I think this might be kind of like a, we're sorry that your product was um, out of stock and we have to refund you your money. But here's like a little bonus gift too. I think that might be what this is. Um, so these are from Etude House. It's called the Honey Sarah and I've never tried this before. This is, oh cool, it's like three different little products in here. I, ooh, it smells so good. I can smell it from here and it's not even open. This is the Honey Sarah Firming Body Cream. Then I have the Creamy Body Wash and the Creamy Bottom, Creamy Bottom, ew, and the Creamy Body Lotion. So I have that. And again, I think that was just something they threw in. They definitely refunded me for what I didn't get. So I'm assuming this is like a little we're sorry kind of gift, which I totally accept. This is nice. And then this one is another set. This has four products in it. This one is the Priming Eye Serum. There is the cream, just cream. There is the emulsion and the toner. So yeah, that is super nice. They totally didn't have to do that. Like they already refunded me my money and then they also gave me a little gift. So that was super nice of them. Yeah, so that is it for everything I bought from Sweet Korea. Like I said, this was my second haul. Um, let me see how much I paid in shipping because a lot of times I do get questions about that because even though these prices are very inexpensive, um, and you do have to pay a little bit more in shipping because it is you know, obviously coming internationally and it is shipped by weight. So obviously the heavier things you buy and the more things you buy, um, the more that shipping is going to cost. My package actually weighed 3.97 kilograms and I paid $49.05 shipping, which sounds like a lot and I hate paying for shipping, but the prices of these are so inexpensive. Honestly, it's still cheaper to buy these from like Rosa Shop and from Sweet Korea. Those two websites are some of my favorites because they have some of the lowest prices and even with the higher shipping price, and it still comes out being cheaper than other websites I've seen. So obviously keep that in mind. If you are buying a lot of things or a lot of heavy things, you do have to pay a little bit more in shipping. Um, but for me, it's still worth it. So it's not a huge, huge deal, even though it sucks hearing like, and you have $50 shipping. So, but if you're just buying a couple things and they're not too heavy, you should be totally fine on shipping. They're super reasonable prices. I'm just batshit crazy and I buy a lot of stuff. So that is it for this video. I'm definitely going to be trying to do maybe some reviews on some of these products. So definitely be looking out over the next few weeks for some of these products so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like and subscribe you can follow me on instagram link is below and until my next video i will talk to you guys later